On January the 30th, 1943, as a result of intensified Allied bombing, the German Naval High Command left the city of Berlin. They moved into a series of purpose-built, heavily reinforced buildings and underground bunkers hidden deep inside a forest north of the city. This is the news bunker from where the German Navy Commander-in-Chief Admiral Karl Dönitz commanded the German U-boat fleet. This is where reported observations of Allied shipping convoys in the Pacific would have been received, and it is from here that the decisions would have been made and the orders given to the U-boat wolf packs to track them and sink them. These dark underground corridors would once have buzzed with naval activity. These now silent rooms would have been filled with chatter from Enigma machines as coded messages were sent and received from the Nazi U-boat fleet. The lower level contains the bunker's services, such as the heating and hot water systems, the toilets, showers and plumbing. Everything was self-contained. Further down a side corridor, a steel fire door leads into the generator room, which contains the bunker's two large diesel generators and switch gear. This equipment was scuppered by the Germans with hand grenades the day they abandoned the bunker, but it was later restored and reused by the Soviets, who stored munitions at the base after the war. The Soviets also made modifications to the fresh air system as they continued to use the facilities until the 1990s. The Germans finally abandoned the base on the 20th of April 1945, three days after it had been targeted by an Allied bombing raid and just 24 hours before the advancing Soviet army arrived. With considerable effort, the Soviets went on to destroy most of the surface buildings, including Admiral Dunitz's accommodation, but the underground command bunker survived. Just over a week after abandoning the base, following Hitler's death, Admiral Karl Donitz became his successor as head of the German state. But within a month, his government had been dissolved by the Allies. The war was over and he was accused and later convicted of war crimes at the Nuremberg trials. Today the remains of the heavily reinforced surface buildings can still be seen, and the bunker which played such a significant part in history lies derelict and abandoned. Despite its remote and rather inaccessible location, in recent years it has still fallen victim to vandals and the occasional metal thief, and the main entrance has now been completely buried. <laughs>